Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I'm going to show you guys an awesome application to let you learn more about the Samsung Gear S, and it's referred to as the Samsung Gear S Experience app. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Now, if you haven't bought the Gear S just because you want to know more of what it does, this is perfect for you. So let's go inside of this application, and there is four different quadrants of what you'd be able to learn about. So let's go into the top left for the style and design. This is where you can actually look at a full 360 view of the Gear S in either black. You need to also be able to check it out in white. When you hit on the back button, it'll take you back to right where you were before. And let's go into the stylish and functional clock. It'll actually let you experience on how you can change this and alter your, your watch face. So let's long press on the home screen. Then you click on the edit button and it says that you can change the shortcuts. And so inside of here, you're changing the different shortcuts of the Gear S. Then you'd be able to change the one on the bottom, which I changed it to weather. So let's click on OK. What it's going to have you do is tap on the weather shortcut and it takes you into the weather application. So let's go back into the menu of where we just were. Let's go into the intuitive user interface. And inside of here, this is where you have different arrows or you'd be able to swipe it as well. And so over here, this is where you can go from the left and the right of exactly what a Gear S would look like. And then on the home screen, you'd also be able to tap on the arrow to see exactly what is all in here in terms of applications to use. Let's head back home into the home page of this application. And let's go into what you'd be able to do in terms of communicating. So you have messaging and you also have the rich and full information. So when you get a email, you'd be able to check out everything. Here is your missed calls and messages where there is actually an image that was attached. For the messaging, we can actually experience this. Swipe up on the home screen and then be able to tap on messages. On the very top, this is where we can click on more and go to compose. And we'd be able to add in contacts. And then we'd be able to use the QWERTY keyboard. And you also have the option of doing it by voice as well. And then you click on send. And then now you're done. When you receive a text message, you open it on up. And this is how you reply back. then send and that's it let's head back into the home page of this application and head over to the features this is where you can check out the standalone features so this is where you have the Nike Plus running app the news briefing which I find awesome S health your music player and then navigator If we go into the widget accessibility let's go in and experience this this is where you'd be able to swipe over Let's touch on music and then hit play. We'd be able to go again and hit on pause. Then we'd be able to check out what is over here for the rest of the widgets. When you go to the very end, this is where you'd be able to add one more widget. So if we want to add in, let's say, the settings, now we've reached our maximum of five. Let's go into the fitness monitor. Inside of here, you can check out the pedometer, the complete exercise support, and then the environment sensor. So let's check out the environment sensor and let's experience it. So you go inside of S Health and you click on UV. Once you choose on the OK options, now we're going to actually measure the UV index. And then this is where you'd be able to learn anything and everything that you need to do in terms of what to do. You know, wear sunglasses or not be outside as long. Let's go back to the home. And let's go back into fitness. Let's do to the, the complete exercise support. And let's experience this. So let's go inside of S Health, exercise. Let's go to running. Here's the GPS. We have it on. And then let's go to start. It's receiving information. And now it will be measuring your heart rate before you head out and run. Here it is calculating everything. Your heart rate along with your time and how far you've gone. Then you'll be able to hit on stop and then read all the different information that you have in terms of your running result.
So this has been an application that would help you guys learn more about the Samsung Gear S. Hope this has helped you guys out. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe and share this with all your friends.